So what's going on everybody, my name is Super, and today we're taking a look at the 10th feature highlights video for City Skylines 2, which is about game progression. I'm going to be pausing the video throughout to talk about what they're saying and showing us, but without further ado, let's get right into this one. City building is a journey, led by your creativity and ambition. So the decisions you make along the way reflect who you are. To help you build a city that's true to you, City Skylines 2 puts 20 milestones packed with rewards directly in your path. When you unlock a milestone, you're rewarded expansion permits. Expansion permits allow you to quickly add new map tiles to your city. But this isn't just about real estate. Use expansion permits to release tiles with the specific attributes you need to see your plans through. So here they're showing us again the new map tiles, which are smaller and more abundant in City Skylines 2 than they were in the last game, which I'm kind of liking so far. From what I've been seeing, I think it's nice that you can expand your city more specifically in certain directions than buying an entire tile here and an entire area here. Plus, now in the game you can purchase tiles that aren't connected to ones that you already own, so you can have little pockets of cities back and forth on the map. Milestones also reward you with development points. You need development points to add city services, the bedrock of a functioning metropolis. But just adding them isn't enough. The needs of citizens will change as the city expands, so you'll need to keep developing city services to keep pace. Your development points make it happen. The city services you choose to add, how you develop them, and just how advanced you make them all make a big impact on the character of your city. This is how it works. Each city service has a development tree. The nodes on the development tree are more and more advanced buildings that level up the city service in a specific way. As you unlock these nodes, that city service becomes more sophisticated and specialized. When you first add a city service, you're at the base of the development tree, so you get the basics. Like when you add the city service public transportation, you get buses and taxis. Basic stuff. Spend development points to unlock nodes further along the development tree. In this case, you might invest in trains to move more people more efficiently. Or you might go in a totally new direction by taking to the skies. It's all up to you. Remember, the further you go along a development tree, the more development points you'll need to cough up. And they don't exactly rain from the sky. You might not add a city service at all, or you might not develop it very much. Others you'll take all the way. I really like the new development tree, because paired with the new XP system that they implemented, which isn't linked to only population anymore, it allows you to really take control of the parts of your city that you want to upgrade. And so you can, say, add fire stations, police stations, and medical centers first before you focus on placing a bunch of dog parks all over your map. And if there's something that you really want to play with early game, then you can just focus on expanding to that point instead of unlocking all this other stuff and always having to unlock that certain thing at the same time down the line whenever you have enough population for it. Once you add a city service and unlock nodes on its development tree using development points, it's time to open your wallet to actually pay for the construction of city service buildings, building extensions and operational upgrades, you need cash. Don't worry, you can cover it with the monetary rewards you get when you unlock each milestone. By now, you're probably asking, how do I unlock milestones? It's all about expansion points, or XP. You'll rack up XP passively and actively. Passive XP are awarded up to 16 times during each in-game day. They're awarded as your city's population and the happiness level of that population increases. That's why smooth-running cities that foster the well-being of citizens make steady progress toward the next milestone. Active XP are doled out right when you make bold investments in your city. Watch them rack up when you plop a signature building or invest in core infrastructure like the city's road network. I wonder if that means I can technically upgrade my city to a megalopolis, I think it is, through just placing a bunch of roads on the map. And that might be something we have to try when the game comes out. I'm not fully sure. I'm sure it'd take a while, but might be something we have to look into. In City Skylines 2, 
milestone rewards empower you to unleash your creativity and ambition on the path to building a city that only you can. All right, so overall game progression has had a huge change in City Skylines 2. It's no longer just unlocking things as you reach different destinations population-wise in your city, but now it's linked to what you want to do and how you're expanding your city by adding new roads and services and making sure that your citizens are happy over just having more people move in. And you get to make the choice of what to upgrade and when, instead of it being just handed to you at the same point in time each time that you go through the game. Well, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Good job doing that. If you did enjoy this one and want to watch the last feature highlights video I took a look at, you can click on that video on the right. It's about how the taxes in City Skylines 2 are broken up into way more specific groups that allow you to have more control over all that kind of stuff. If you want to watch something else, then on the left side of the screen you're going to see the first video that I upload when the actual game releases. And in the center of the screen you can click subscribe on my logo there to see more videos just like this one in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.